Man of between us. We're about to induct, oh God, precious family, covenant brotherhood, brand new brothers today. About to make you bone in my bone. Flesh in my flesh. About to give you a right in my table. Safety under my tent. About to give you the solemn pledge. And for you, I lay my sword down and will. I'll never fight you. I put my bow and arrow down and I never stand off in groups and attack your character, kill your good name. I won't be no religious sniper, a bushwhacker. Take my dagger and I'm gonna lay it down and I'll never stab you in the back. I got a coat, I'm gonna take my coat off like Joe Nathan did today. And I'm gonna give you my covering. And if they didn't respect you, I'm gonna make them respect my covering. I'm gonna cover your nakedness with my fullness. I'm on networking, let you have my contacts. My friends gonna be your friends. My home gonna be your home. My nation gonna be your nation and my God's gonna be your God. We got to be true to this covenant, brothers. You gotta go down there, doctor. I want every pastor has already been brought into this sacred fellowship and you have the cord to prove it around your neck to stand. First, I want all my superintendents to stand across here, spaced out in a line. The superintendents have red cords. Amen. Face me, brethren. And I want your district missionaries to stand beside you. But we are not only covenant brothers, but we're covenant brothers and sisters. I want y'all to space yourselves apart so your district mamas can stand next to you. We got, a, we got this whole front end to, to do it, you know. We're not going to serve communion so you don't have to get right close to the table. Just Woman, get next to your superintendent. You know who your superintendent is. You get next to your superintendent. And y'all stand in a single file line facing me. Dr. Garner, you and your district missionary, y'all step forward. And the rest of you take one step backwards because we about to admit them into our fellowship. Yeah, I want my pastors to come in and stand with them. Missionary Pitts, your yeah. new superintendent, he's, we're going to induct him. Maybe we look at him over here. He the bishop's son. You are so highly favored. You love C.L. Anderson, Jr., Missionary Pitts, and I thought it right that Tyrone Anderson would be your acting superintendent until the Lord shall give you another one, and we want you all to step up to the communion table. I don't have insignia for the women Mother haven't done that yet, but I'm not waiting for the men. 
you can't do it. The only one can do it is me. You have to bring it to me. symbol of authority, rank, and esteem. We so induct you into the Great Lakes Covenant Brotherhood as the superintendent of the Living Word District. I wish every Anderson was here. I hope Anderson Memorial is here. They are. They are. I love this man. I remember when they wouldn't even let him go in his daddy's hospital room. wouldn't even let him ride in his daddy's limousine and car. I remember when they got mad when I told his father that if you can't preach your son ought to preach in your place. But I'm glad that, that God was looking. See, when you do, do right, there's a secret witness to every transaction. There's a silent eavesdropper on every ugly conversation. And some of these plans, the Bible said, and that thing displeased the Lord. So although man may appoint, God disappoints. And his word in Ezekiel is, I will overturn yes, yes, and overturn yes, and overturn it until he shall come, whose right it is, and I will give it to him. Point at this preacher and say, to him. So I welcome you as the acting district superintendent. Many times we went to Kalamazoo, I know you know just what to do. Of the New Hope District. Nobody knows Missionary Pitts as well as you. She's from a noble family. Her brother to some of the greatest preachers in the Church of God in Christ. This woman has single-handedly carried this district by herself. She didn't wait on a man, she was like Deborah. She went on and got the battle for the Lord. And I'm giving her a real go-getter who's not going to hinder her in any way. God bless you, Superintendent Tyrone Anderson. Mission. And we got a young man who's also in the lineage of the Anderson family. Amen. And every one of them are special to us in Great Lakes. And you know, you can just show the devil he's a liar, Ben, you can talk about it. And he asked me over a year ago to work in this position. And when you place a man in office, you ought not be hasty. 
and I didn't even match him to see if he get sw- if he would swell up. He didn't get ugly. I did him like Jesus did the Syrophoenician woman. He kept asking and I wouldn't even answer him a word. I'd step across him and wouldn't acknowledge him because I was checking out his spirit. I knew what he would do if he got it, but I wanted to know what would he do if I didn't give it to him. Would he go in the jurisdiction and create confusion? Would he isolate himself over in the corner and sulk and, and pout? Would he go out there in the lobby and try to gather disciples unto himself and sow discord among the brethren? Or would he be humble and patient and wait till his change comes? Well, I want y'all to know that he just got quiet and relaxed in the hands of the Lord. Tell somebody, say, you ain't got to run over nobody, just relax. You ain't got to hurt nobody, you ain't got to push nobody down. Whatever God's got for you, it is. My administrative assistant, we're going to let him have this honor. The new ch- chairman and president of missions for the Great Lakes First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, the elder Edward Anderson. His counterpart is a pastor's wife. She is a wonderful person. In fact, all I know about her is mission work. She, if you're not careful, she's somewhere working in missions right now. She didn't wait for no certificate. Didn't work for no. She didn't wait for no authorization. She just rolled up her sleeves and went to work. Amen. What's your wife's first name? Sister Brenda Tarver is the elect lady of the missions department. Is she here today? She's somewhere working now, trust me. Amen. God bless you, sir. We have a brand new, we have a young man, two young men. One of these young men serves in quiet distinction. His father is is the spiritual father of the jurisdiction. Whenever we have a funeral, his, his daddy starts singing, there's a bright side. Somewhere. Years and years, his father led the three day consecration. Pastor's almost the oldest and most historic church, amen, in this northern, eastern Great Lakes area of Michigan. He passes the old Indiana Street Church of God in Christ. C.L. Anderson Sr. pastor and C.L. Anderson Jr. pastor and I think Bishop Mason pastor over there too almost yeah all kind of folk pastor it's a distinguished pulpit and Dr. Lester Evans amen is his father's son his brother's a bishop of a tremendous movement amen and we are making him the president of the ministerial support Amen, which is a theological training center for all Great Lakes preachers. He is a seminary graduate. He's an excellent preacher, but what I love about him, instead of just taking sittings for God, he's a man that got his spirit under control. And we thank God that Dr. Lester Evans is the president of ministerial support. Well, he got the blue cord as a pastor. Well, on his head were many crowns. Put the red one on top of it. Yeah. God bless him. What a godly young man. God bless him. Serving right by his side is... A young man who's who's already set a standard. Amen. He's has a master's in theology, 
carries his way. You know, educated folk got the way they carry themselves. They don't blow their horn, but you can look at them and tell they know what they're doing. And this young man has already distinguished himself. He started a brand new church. Amen. And they already purchased a building. Got, got a great little congregation going. Amen. I mean, I mean, these, these young men are starting off where it took older men years and years to go. Overnight, they just gone. Overnight, they didn't close on deals. He's already negotiated now for his building. And this young man is Pastor Tony Marshall. Wait. On his own initiative, he got a blue T-shirt with the Great Lakes monogram on it as a building fund drive. I don't want this jurisdiction to let them take one T-shirt home. I want to, I bought $80 worth last night, and if there's some left tonight, I'm gonna buy some more. We're gonna buy every T-shirt he have and help them get that church going. The dean of the Ministerial Support Theological Training Center, amen, is the pastor, Tony Marshall. Oh, that's all right. I'm enjoying myself. Oh, the C.L. Anderson Junior Institute. Well, correct me. Praise God. Yeah. Oh, that was his suggestion? I support that. Who, 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 uh, wait a minute. Evangelist Bobby Dawson. Is one of our covenant brothers. And when you fight him, you fight me. Jesus said, he that despises you despises me. Hello, somebody. We have to understand that in this church, you work your way up and you fight your way down. He has paid his dues. God has verified him. I don't have to authenticate him. He's a prophet extraordinaire. But what I love about him best, he's a man of prayer and a true friend. Kind of friend don't run off at the mouth. Know how to keep a secret. And when something's happening, just pray. The devil attacked me in the pulpit. Tried to take my voice. Bring on that choking spirit. And I looked at him and said, pray. And I did my throat like that. And a minute later, whatever that demonic interference was, it was gone. We want you to know that the intercessory prayer is a part of this jurisdiction. It's a part of my church. And my, my main people are in the prayer. In fact, I don't really consider you too much if you don't pray a lot. What you are in prayer is what you are and nothing more. And the way you take the temperature of your church is go to the prayer meeting. A cold prayer meeting is a cold church. And a hot prayer meeting is a hot church. You got to keep the prayer hot. Now I want you to know the devil is trying to take the gospel from the very mouths of God's ambassadors. He is fighting against us with all that he has to keep us from preaching this gospel. And preachers need to be surrounded with intercessory prayer, warriors that go into warfare every time the man of God mounts the pulpit. Paul said, brethren, pray that the word of God be not bound. Why don't somebody say amen? Amen. 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 So we appointing this, this, this preacher, man, to the position. Amen. In the intercessory prayer, as our dean of prayer. Amen. Really don't want to give him no title because you don't want no title when you get to praying. Just, just pray always. 
with all manner at all times and all seasons, lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubt. God bless you, Bobby. God bless you. And I want you all to know, you see how packed it is? The Holy Ghost fell in here last night like it's never fell every night, but last night something happened. No, 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 no. Last night, it happened until preachers start loving one another. Until we start praying for one another and prophesying over one another. It fell until everything in it. They prayed until we shouted down the aisle, giving our money. And there was great joy in the city. And great grace was upon us. Hello, somebody. And God about to add daily to this church. Such as should be saved. And if you love him, shout glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Enjoy Jesus. Hallelujah. What's the word? is all right, but I got another one. Enjoy. Just a minute. We installed pastors, and some of them haven't been installed yet. Uh, first thing, one of the fathers of our jurisdiction has misplaced his cross, and I promised Pastor Bell that he didn't have to worry that if if the devil, amen. You know, anybody here, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. New Covenant brother, Pastor Kenneth Kimball. Pastor Kenneth Kimball. Let's say amen for our brand new Covenant brother. Y'all don't have no joy. You know why? You know why some folks are so dry? Because they don't know it takes joy to draw the water. The maestro, Pastor Rudolph Stanfield.
Just a minute. Did I give you your cord yet? Just a minute. Just a minute. This is serious. This young man already got a, a full church, new pew, brand new carpet, and a house full of folks. You told him, and can, who can preach? Pastor Delbert McFire. We got another new pastor. This is Pastor Willie Taylor from Toledo, Ohio. Just got a, he just, Listen, I'm telling y'all, he just bought a brand new church. Let's give it to him. We go in there and dedicate that building and welcome him in. Now, this is an anointed pastor. Brother, let me tell you something. Don't you never stop doing what you're doing. Don't you never get started. But be a worshiper like David. Now, Saul's daughter married David. And she was a bad wife. Because instead of joining her husband in praising God, she stood in the window and got mad because he shouted till his trousers come off. You will always find you will always find some daughter of Saul looking their nose down on a genuine lover of God who don't mind giving God the glory and giving God the praise. But what the Lord did is the thing displeased God and he smote her with barrenness. What I want to tell you is that if you want to have a full church, you want to have more members in Bible study than other folk have on Sunday morning, keep your church praising God. You know what? You know what bothers me? Is that when I got saved, everybody got knocked out. You wasn't busy looking, you were too busy getting it. Oh. Pastor, Pastor Keith Fortune, he just, Amen. Don't think cause we praise God that we ignorant. We ain't about nothing. This man just bought a new building. But when you praise God, he'll do the work for you. Y'all ain't saying Who next? We got another, another new pastor. 
Now, if you're not enjoying my sermon, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm preaching. Oh, I'm preaching. Yeah, who else? Yeah. We got another pastor. You know, I've been saying pastor a long time. This is Pastor Hollis Keys. And we welcome him in into the jurisdiction. Somebody say he done got smoky in here. Tell somebody else say, Holy smoke, holy smoke, holy smoke, holy smoke. next we got Pastor Leon Tarver this is a son of greater love this is one of Bishop Bishop Remsen's son we're going to install him formally put him in his vestments and garments Sanctify him in the eyes of the people mm -hmm. on the 10th of June. Oh, yeah. And if the Lord say the same, we're going to be there, Brother Tarver. And we're going to bust the walls out over there. Mm -hmm. 